Begin by squeezing the tabs green arrows on the air breather hose leading to the air oil separator and pull it off. Shown here is the AOS with the hose removed. Note the tabs green arrows around the perimeter of the plastic cap. Also note the oil dirt residue at the bottom of the cap yellow arrow. This is an indication of a leak. Use a flathead screwdriver to carefully pry the plastic cap over the tabs on the valve cover. Use caution and work slowly. You should be able to pull it off once you are about halfway around. With the cap removed, take note of the spring green arrow inside. Make sure you don't lose this. Carefully pull the diaphragm out of the cap along with the support plate. Pull the support plate off of the diaphragm. Note the way the plug on the diaphragm, green arrow, fits into the support plate, yellow arrow. Shown here is the problem. The diaphragm tends to crack right along the edge where it seals against the separator cap, green arrow. Fit the new diaphragm into the support plate and then also into the cap. Make sure that the spring is located correctly into the separator, then place the cap over and down until it locks. Press the air hose back into the separator and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.